Okay, hello everyone. Um, the date today is 2018, July 21st. So it's 2018-07-21. And yeah, I forgot the date last week. That was July 14th. So yeah. You might be wondering why there are so many scribbles on the screen. Well, I had technical difficulties setting up uh, my tablet. So hopefully that's over with. Um, I guess I'm going to start a new one. Um, a four, yeah. So okay, I started a new one. Yeah, that's a new one. And now I can close this. No, don't save. Okay, so last week I was doing spheres and cylinders with some shading. This week I'm gonna try doing just a cube, and I don't want to have it be another 21 minute monstrosity that was. It's also weird that it's always been going up in increments of 7, and uh, yeah, that's weird. 7 minutes my first video, 14 minutes my second, 21 minutes my third. Anyways, starting with this, um, this week I'm doing cubes, just cubes, and this all go in. I should really utilize more of my paper than like last time, which was just one one portion of that paper. Yeah, I'll be wasting paper if it was real, but it's not real. It's digital. I say trees this way. <laughs> that and I don't know. Anyways. Yeah. That I'm doing um I, yeah. I guess I'm doing the cube based on what what I learned. Okay, so a cube. Let's see. Well, two parallel lines going down, or going on the up-down direction of the paper. And then another two going uh, on the left-right, or right-left, whichever way you do it. Yeah, left-right on the paper. And then uh, about, because this is a cube, I've got to make it, um, there has to be some perspective to it. It shouldn't be skewed. You should do the math book one, which is basically, you know, this. Or about that much. Um, that's the math book version, which I shouldn't do. I've got to do a bit of perspective on this. So let's see. Oh. Okay, so go back. This goes in a bit, and it should get uh, those two should be curving in a little bit. I mean, I guess I've made mine very, 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 very close to perspective, but yeah, like this. I guess we don't see the top of it; we just see the sides. I mean, if I made a if you want to see a cube on just one side? Well, here you go. Here's a cube with with one side only. So that at least I can say, okay, I did it in three different ways, three different dimensions. So this is a cube where you can only see one side. So you're looking at it head on, one side head on. This one is now you can see two sides to it. One side is the side, and this is the front. It's the front because it's not as skewed as this. I guess that's how I keep that straight. So let me make those a little bit more clear. Yes. And so here's my cube. Okay, that's my cube if you looked at it from the front. Now here's my cube looking at it from the side. At least you can see two sides of it. So you can see edges, but you can't see corners as much. Okay, so there's that. I guess, oh yeah, I should shade these. So, light comes down this way. Oops. 
So, yes, I will be doing. I'll use the tilted version this this time. Uh, I tend to use the. Uh, you know, I I once did this. You know, these ones. And that looks awesome, but I should really start just so that I could uh, at least apply this in real life. I can do this with just the tilted pencil. So I guess this one, it was the lights coming down this way. So some dark shadow here. Okay, some dark shadow here. Then it should get progressively lighter. Ignore things that go outside. We do not necessarily follow the lines. We do not color inside the lines. Because I am not very good at art. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> erase. 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 Okay. Erase that. Crisis averted. Again. Oh, and I might sound a little different to everyone because, well, uh, I'm in a different room. Yay. So, yeah, where I was initially at, I was, you know, that's kind of occupied right now. So, I'm in a different room. And I might sound a little different. I'm not sure. I should also sound a little different because uh, I applied some post, well, pre processing. Pre-processing stuff, yeah, that, that's, that's I think what it would be called. Pre-processing stuff. And I guess I could try getting to see how light I could do it. Just blend it a little more. Okay, so there's my cube that is, you can just see the front. Now, for this one, um, it wouldn't, wouldn't just go all the way though. It would just go all the way. I'm assuming, okay, if you looked at it from the front and the light goes this way, then you would see the light coming this way, and then, I mean, then you would tilt this a little bit. Maybe it should actually be, you know what, I will just make this all dark. All roughly dark. With maybe this one being slightly darker because uh, that's where my hand is holding it. Yeah, that, that, that's a good, um, that's a good excuse for why that's darker. But yeah, there's my cube. I'm holding it from here, so there's my hand. Here's my hand, I'm holding it. It's not a very good hand, but I just pretend something's holding there. No, never mind, I'll just, just pretend something's holding there. If I could draw a hand, I would, but I can't. Not yet, at least. Um, for this one, let's see. It's coming down this way. Uh, so that means this, uh, this part of the cube is... It would be more... Is more light. So this has more light. This one has less light. This should be slightly darker. So I would say this is where the dark. So this would be a little bit darker. Okay. Yeah, I should turn on a fan here. It's really hot. Well, I mean, it is summer, but still, it's pretty hot. I mean, has it has there been a hotter day this year? I don't know. Um, maybe. Yep, <sighs> coloring this. I mean, shading this in. It's not coloring. It's color wheel there. I mean, technically, shading is coloring with just one hue. Yeah, hue, saturation, and value. Hue, saturation, and value. It's called black. That's all you get. Except you can, you, you, well, since you use white paper, then you can get grays. Then and only then you can get grays. But before that, you can only have what is technically deemed black, but I actually should probably get this to be gray. It doesn't look like a real pencil. It looks like a pencil that has really, really dark graphite. Yeah. Like it's really hard graphite. I don't know how our pencils work. Anyway, so there's the that's the side facing a little away from the light, and then 
we zoom that turn to this. So you have a little bit more light here, but not not much. And I would assume since this is coming down, this can we apply the sphere principle? I don't know, just to make it look a little bit different, maybe I'll do starting from the bottom and building up. So it looks at least it contrasts with the one next to it. So it doesn't look like it's the same, I don't know, type. I mean, you could probably guess from the shading, like, oh, that that's different because shading, context clues, yeah. And then maybe, maybe I'll just make that top part slightly lighter just so that, oh, here's the, well, light. Nah, I think this is fine. So yeah, there is the cube in two dimensions. A good amount of time. Uh, yeah, I guess I could go for one more. I will do a 3D. Cubes are three dimensional. I meant a. You can see three parts of the cube. I don't know how to do four parts of the cube. Could you see four? No, I, I think perspective would. That would be impossible based on perspective. So, three parts of the cube. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, right. So let's see. I was taught that you could have two vanishing points somewhere there. And then make a cube here. You can see the bottom. I guess I could do it from top. So top here, and then other there. So that makes a V. And then you have to make one parallel here. That's a bit small. So then you make another parallel there. So sketching. These are just sketches. So then you would make. Do you want it? Oh no. It has to go down. This will not look like a cube. This, if I do it this way, and let's see, this has to go. Then, uh, oops. Okay, then going down. These should all be parallel. Oh no, <laughs> that's not good. Uh, so this is fine. This is not fine. So fixing this a bit. It's just not look like a cube, okay? If I made it this way, and then I did, you know, this this top part. Okay, iteration. That is the key. Iterate through all these cubes. Design. And then you can do this. Erase. Erase the things. Erase your mistakes. Because I don't know. Nobody wants to see them. Everybody wants to see it, that you're perfect. So only give what you what is considered perfect because you are believed to be perfect. Everybody's believed to be made perfect, but, but nobody's made perfect. We all make mistakes. You just got to, I don't know, show people that you make mistakes so then they don't hold you up to a high pedestal, which is what I'm trying to do because I don't want people to know that, oh, this this guy, yes, he, he was a great artist. <laughs> He, he was born a great artist. No, no, I wasn't born a great artist. I was made a great artist by life. Yes, life, life made me into a great artist. Life and experience. That is what you need to be a good artist, life and experience. And you need both. If you don't have life, well, I don't think you can draw if you haven't been born yet. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you can draw. And I don't think you can draw afterwards, unless, I mean, can you draw something afterwards? Are there drawing supplies wherever you go? I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty sure if you're traveling, though, you probably couldn't draw. But, let's see, so this is my cube. This is my cube, and you can see three parts of it. 
And it looks okay, I guess. And, oh wait, where's, where's the light? Go, let me get the light. Okay, there's my light. Oh no, it's going down. No, stop, stop. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay then. We're back. Uh, the light goes that way. So. Mm, I guess I could just. And. Oops. Okay, so there is my arrow. Again, very large arrow. We'll say the top part is heavily lighted, the bottom part, so by heavily lighted I mean like very rare, like I probably would do this. I don't think it's actually showing up, like is it, you could barely see one, yeah, it's barely there. Anyways, so yeah, there we go, there's barely any uh, shading on this, scribble it through. So for this one, um, I guess, wait, so assuming it's like this, turn this, and then you, you, so you start off with this, and you're looking at it straight on. Then you turn it a bit, okay, I turn this a bit, get some light, oh, okay, there, there it goes. And then uh, I turn it, and then I look up, and then you see this. And so this should still be dark. Uh, I guess I'll do this same patterning. But, okay, there we go. So this is going to be dark still. And I guess because it's even more away from the light, it's even more dark. Yeah, that's how you justify it being really dark on this side of the moon. I don't know why we're on the moon all of a sudden, but uh, just assume we're on the moon. Why is there a cube on the moon? Because I made this cube on the moon. Why is there, why is there a moon? Because, I don't know. Something happened in the past, and the moon exists. And that's how the moon came into being. Yeah, uh, I mean, everything happens in the past, right? Anything that was made today happened in the past. Or, no, anything that, anything that exists today was made in the past. Right, that's how time works. Or that's how we assume time works. If I do this one, this one has to be shaded a little bit more. Hopefully I don't make this into another long episode. I'll probably be finished after this. It's getting really hot. Wow, it's really hot. I gotta check the temperature today. Like, how many degrees Celsius it is? Like, is it? I um, I don't know. How hot would it be? I don't know. I want to check if today is a record-breaking temperature. Why is it so hot today? Okay, so shading, so this one has medium amount of shade, this one has lots of shade, this one has medium amount of shade, with less shade on this side, because that's where the light's coming from, and this one, maybe I could do a little more here, because it's so dark, and then, ta-da, we got a cube, and it has shading, except it's in space, I forgot, you're supposed to be holding it, so... It's got to be on a surface, so it's got to cast a shadow. What time am I at? Well, I'm at 18. I should probably stop. We'll do casted shadow next week. So, summarizing what I did today. I made three different cubes. One cube is this cube, which is you looking at it straight on. The second cube is... You turn, okay, you pretend you had that cube again, you look at it straight on. Now, you turn it a bit, uh, the, whichever hand you're holding it in, uh, you turn it, you turn it clockwise? Yeah, clockwise. And you now see two sides of that, okay. Now you tilt it down, yeah. You tilt it down and now you can see three, three, um, three parts. So, those are my three, I don't know, three, Cubes. That's what it was. That's what these are called. Cubes. I, I was I was gonna say squares because that and that's a square, but that's a cube if you looked at it straight on. So uh, that'll do it for me. I, goodbye, everyone.